Okay, I'm back. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you, man. Uh, like, like a Knesuki. No, real serious. Come on. Wait, I can't take this elevator. Also, I'm not supposed to go there. Uh, go on with it first. Go ahead to medical checkup. No, duh. That's what I'm trying to do. Understood. Okay. Thank you, laboratory. Yeah, uh, this cannon. This is like the worst shooter you can ever get. Uh, yes. Cutscene. Oh, oh, shut up right now. You got here 726 seconds sooner than I expected. Good to see you, new type. I'm Paler Sakaki, and I'm in charge of the Aragami Technology R&D. Well, we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on. Welcome aboard. Now then, as you can see, I'm still pretty busy getting prepared. Johan, why don't you get your business out of the way first? Dr. Sakaki, I think it's high time you learn to separate business from private matters. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm in charge of the Fenrir branch in this region. Congratulations again on passing the test. I expect great things from you. He's a former techie too, you know. The new type's medical checkups interest you to no end, right, Johan? I decided to retire as a techie because we have you. Keep that in mind. Did you really ever retire, though? <laughs> now then, this is where the real fun starts. Let me explain the Fenrir's Corporation's objectives once more. Your direct duties are very simple. They are to keep the Aragami in this region at bay, and to gather materials, which are then converted into resources needed to maintain this advanced base, as well as to complete the impending Aegis project. Oh. Look at these numbers. The Aegis Project is, simply put, a plan to create a utopia impregnable against Aragami attacks, located far out to sea, close to the former Sea of Japan trench. Ha <laughs> ha! Once the project is complete, humankind will be able to avoid extinction. At least, for the long. Amazing. So this is what a new type is like. <laughs> Taylor, you're disrupting my lecture. Oh, sorry about that. I was just so taken aback by these stats, I got carried away. At any rate, He's so funny. the future of humankind is at stake, so give it your best effort. All right, I'll be taking my leave now. I'm leaving it all to you, Pale. Send me the data when you're done. Okay, we're good to go now. Lie down on that bed, will you? You'll feel sleepy for a little while, but I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. Sure. When you wake up, you'll be in your own room. Just a little cat nap, so to speak. You'll get about 10,800 seconds. Sweet dream. Like a freaking pedo bear or something. Well, I'm in my room. No underwear wrecked or anything, so let's just go to the hallway. Sean, it's really good. Well, it's sort of. I prefer Koda and the, and the other guys. Okay, let's see. Take the medical check. So you're done with your checkup. Fine, I'll have to take you in a mission right away. So I've already talked it up. She runs and says, yes, I know her. Let's do it. Okay. Now you're done with your medical checkup. Again, I'm Hiwari Takeda, and I receive mission orders. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yes, I understand, lady. It's good. Difficulty 1. Devil's Tail, 1 Ogre Tail, confirmed. This is like... Well, obviously, this is starting off missions. So it's gonna be like really lame missions. But, obviously, when you're starting up, it's not gonna be that lame. You're just gonna have to get the hang of it. This is where we see a new character. Oh, Linda! The director said if I saw you to tell you to come see him. Okay. Don't tell him you saw me. <laughs> hey there, rookie. The name is Lindo Amamia. On paper, I'm your superior officer. But uh, never mind all that boring stuff, okay? All I'm asking is that you become someone I know will have my back. Okay? Oh. Who's this, a rookie? Yeah, and 
I'm hounding him with all our severe rules right now. So take a hike, Sakuya. Yes, sir, Big Boss, sir. So anyway, that's about it. Okay? I'm sending you right into battle now. But I'll be accompanying you on this mission. Hey, look at the time. We're gonna head out, guys. Uh, the Ravage City again. This is where we start off. And just like Linda will say... Boy, this place has seen better times, huh? Yep. Hey, Rookie, we're gonna start the simulation now. You got three orders. Don't die. If your number's up, get out. Lastly, hide. If you're lucky, catch the enemy off guard and blast it. Wait, is that four? I don't know, you're counting. The bottom line is, you've gotta survive. Just follow that order, and everything else will be fine. Got it. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Okay, so as you all can see, I picked the Sunder Blade. So, basics. You got the sword. Triangle and circle. The triangle and square are attacking moves. X is for jumping. You, sir, get away. When you dare touch me, circle. You dash. Only when you move, obviously. Okay, uh, on the HUD, red bar is the HP. Green is OP, which is uh, Oracle cells that you have to take. Ooh. Um, the white bar, that's stamina. Okay, not commands. I uh, already told you how to attack. With R and circle, press together, you have shield. Now you want gun, not blade. You press R and you can switch. Keep the L button at, uh, pressed for a moment. You get the this. You can shoot with triangle or with square. You pick. Now, for what separates this game from Monster Hunter is the ability to absorb power from your enemies. Keep our, I mean, triangle well pressed, and you get the God Eater out. Bite the monster, I mean, the origami, and you get its powers for a certain amount of time. And this is called burst. This gives you an incredible amount of damage, wing power, and you can kill things quickly. But obviously, it's gonna run out sooner or later, so you have to keep biting things. Once the monster is killed, you bite it once more to get all the um, materials. Now you see that I get it like a like a red uh, bullet. To press R. This is called the Aragami bullet or something like that. Like gar Aragami shot. Shoot it. It comes out like a really different bullet. You get some certain amounts different depending on the monster. These are quite powerful, even if they are the same element as the original monster. Not the ones we have, anyway. 
So how on earth are you people supposed to battle these origami? Um, let's see. Just keep slashing and blasting them with our god arc? Yes. The short answer is that using a god arc, a bioweapon embedded with the same oracle cells, is the only way to stop the fusing of an origami's oracle cells. However, this can also cause rogue cell colonies to refuse and then form a new entity. The best thing to do would be to extract the origami core, the cell colony serving as a command center. But this is extraordinarily difficult to do. Even with God Arc, we have no way to deliver a decisive blow. Somewhere along the way, the people likened this absolute being to countless gods that have been passed down around here, and they started to call it origami. All right. That's it for today's lecture. I'd like you to refer to the Norn database in the terminal for more details about the origami. Understood? Yeah, sure. Finally. Uh, no, well, to save. Okay, terminal. Probably gonna have to save because there was a lot of cutscenes. So, goodbye. See you around.